Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial. And in yesterday's tutorial, I showed you guys how to um, use a text view, uh, how to use it. But I told you that it doesn't have a placeholder. So I'm going to be showing you guys a workaround on how to get a placeholder. Um, it's not really the same, like it's not as good, but it's good enough. So let's see, just show you guys. And it's actually really simple to do once you get, um, once you actually understand how it works. So what I'll do is I'll create a text view and I'll also create a button so we can finish editing the text view. So let me get a text view over here and I'll just put this 50, 25, 25 and um, let me put it 150 away from the bottom. Uh, and then it needs a height, doesn't it? Uh, I'll just give it 250. Okay, so um, now, oh, I know, oh, actually, I know I've done wrong. This should be to the super view, no, safe area dot uh, bottom. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, 50, okay, there we go. And where's the button gone? Let me delete that real quick. And. Uh, let me just make this 250 or 350. <laughs> so then we just can put the button over here. And I'll just put this uh, 50 under this 25, 25, 100. Okay, so we have our button, and now we can actually start to edit it. So you can see there's no placeholder option, and if I link up the text view, um, you can see there's no placeholder option if I do text view dot placeholder there's nothing there like this is not really the same thing so let me show you guys how to get the placeholder actually first let me run this just see if it all works well so yeah we can edit this perfectly and okay cool so the way you get a text view um, a placeholder is first let's create a placeholder variable and let's just create that here placeholder and we can just call this something like hello world and then view did load we need to add um, a UI text view delegate just that's just there then set the delegate to self and we also need to set the text to the placeholder text when it starts uh, placeholder and we set the text color to uh, light gray since that's the color of a uh, placeholder so let's run this now this isn't finished so this is looking like a placeholder except when we go to edit it it's just like this and it still looks like that so the way we actually fix this is we can create uh, one function called text view uh, did begin editing and then in here, let's check if the text view's uh, color is light gray. Uh, and if it is, let's set the text to nothing, because that was just placeholder, remember? When you start typing, the text actually goes away. So nothing there. And let's set the text to black, or just label color. doesn't really matter. Uh, text color equals dot black. So now let's see how much progress we've made. When we click on it, we can actually type normally. So now the last thing we want to do is when we um, when we finish with this, like we want the placeholder to actually go back. Um, so let's just do that. Uh, text view did end editing, and if text view dot text is equal to nothing let's set the text view dot text is equal to placeholder and the text color is equal to light gray so I'm not sure if this will work as well because oh because when we click the button it doesn't actually stop editing the text field so say I type something in there click the button you see it's still editing uh, so the way I can actually fix that is 
Uh, let's say if I um, if I tap outside of it, um, I can actually finish it. Or I can just add a, a text view here. So, oh, I mean text field here. So that when I click on it, it's actually going to stop editing this. So we can actually see it in action. So 50, 25, 25, 100. And this is just so when we uh, click out of a text view, it stops editing it. So let's do something in here. Then if we can go down here, we type something there. And now let's say we finish that, click that, and it goes back to the placeholder. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye.